All right, guys, my Pat McGrath order came in. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing swatches of five of the six Divine Blush Duos from Pat McGrath. And then I picked up two of the new Divine Glow shades. I'm going to do comparisons of what is in the regular blush line. And let's get into it. So I ordered all of this from the Pat McGrath website. I did see it's currently available also on Sephora. A couple of the shades are exclusive to Pat McGrath's website, but... Most of the shades are on Sephora, so I will link both retailers down below. Like I said, I did order off of Pat McGrath. The shipping wasn't bad this time. The blushes launched a week ago, exactly today that I'm filming it. And I got some nice little cute gift with purchases. Look at this. I got a sample of the Divine Skin, which I did not buy because I don't know why Pat McGrath came out with skincare, but okay. And then this is super cute. I can't believe I got this for free. The Love and Lust Gloss Trio. How cute. And then we got, like I said, five blushes and two Divine Glow Duo. I'm gonna do this by shade. We're gonna start off with the blushes and then we will do the divine glows Divine blush duo is going to be $44. It's a bit more expensive than say the individual blushes, but you get two blushes in one it's the exact same amount of product but I'm happier that you can get two shades I'm okay with paying a little bit more and if you want to see a difference in the box the divine blush duos have more pinky to lilac ombre whereas the regular divine blush is just all lilac all around all of the blushes are made in italy yeah and if you didn't know the divine blush duos are supposed to be limited edition so if you want to get them now's the time they're supposed to be all new shades and today that's what we are going to test i mean let's not waste any time let's get straight into it so the first one that I have right here is Aphrodite Amour. So this one is kind of more of a blushier pink. So there's a bright peachy pink here and then more of like a muted rose tone. So let me swatch these for you. So here is the two shades in here. This is the brighter color and this one is a little bit more neon. I just mix both shades together and here's what they look like mixed together. In terms of what I thought was similar, this is Nymphette right here and I feel like Nymphette is kind of the combo of both, especially the rose color, so let's try it. So here's what Nymphette looks like. A little bit more purple in Nymphette. But Divine Rose is definitely more mauve -y. I don't think we need to compare that. Here's Nude Venus. These also look very different. Nymphette's definitely the closest, but it holds more purple. I will have everything that's currently on my face right now. I'm going to set with a little bit of the Refi water-based powder. I don't have any powder on my cheeks right now. This is a really lightweight powder, so I think it's going to be perfect because on a normal day, I do have powder on my face when I'm applying these blushes, so it's only fair. I'm going to use a BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy A507 brush, wiping in between each application. I'm going to start off with the more muted color. And let's put this more so on the apple of the cheek. So this kind of has a somewhat matte finish on the cheek. You'll find that the Pat McGrath blushes, assuming these are the exact same formula, they last such a long time. Really high quality. There almost is an iridescence to it. I don't know if you can see that, but that's gorgeous. And now let's go into the outer part, which is a little bit brighter. I'm going to put this on the outer part of my cheek. So the sh rose shade in here is definitely more shimmery and the outer part, which are the rays, has a little bit more matte to it and is definitely more of a hot pink. I think these two are going to be beautiful mixed together, but if you want to see how they look separately, you can see this one's more matte, has a little bit more red in it. This has more of an iridescent finish. I'm going to mix them together because I think they look really pretty on the cheek mixed together. Yeah, so you have to like bright pink blushes to enjoy this one. I think this one is really pretty. I like this one a lot. The shimmer is slightly emphasizing the texture but not in an unflattering way. So this next one that I'm going to show you is Divine Rose 2. So you have a brighter hot pink in the roses and then the sun rays is a little bit more peachy. And just so you can see the difference between Aphrodite Amour and Divine Rose 2, Divine Rose 2 is definitely brighter, punchier, and Aphrodite Amour looks almost more peach compared to Divine Rose 2, which is a lot brighter. So we're gonna start off with the brightest shade, which is the roses and then the rays. 
You can totally see the difference between the two. I like in blush duos when the two colors are very different because it makes more sense that way. You get more out of it. I feel like with Aphrodite and more, they were somewhat close on the cheek. These two are definitely a little bit more different. So there is a single blush in the shade Divine Rose. You can see Divine Rose is definitely much more natural right here, whereas Divine Rose 2 kind of matches up with the eye palette in that it's brighter so these are very very different does not look like divine rose blush okay, the single one worth comparing is cherish right here which reminds me of the rose shade so let's see so here is cherish it's pretty close i would say to the bright shade so just keep that in mind if you do have cherish I'm gonna wipe off my brush start off with the outer color which is a little bit more muted and i'm gonna start that off on the apple of the cheek and Wow, she pigmented. The outer ray color is definitely more on the matte side, and you can use a light hand with this. This is going to be a good shade for medium to deep complexions as well, but you can certainly make it work for a lighter complexion. I find with the matte blushes from Pat McGrath, you do have to use a lighter hand because if you just go like that and stamp it, sometimes they can be harder to blend. Okay, and now the brightest color. Yeah clear difference between the two. I really like that. I think that that's important in a blush duo. I am more partial to wearing Aphrodite more, but I like this shade better in terms of the value. I like how the colors look more different from one another. Aphrodite more Divine Rose too. Okay, on to the next. This is the shade that I was most excited about, Venusian Sunrise. So you have this lilac color here, and then you have a hot peachy pink. And I'm telling you now, by looking at the individual blushes that I have, if you do not want any repeats, this is one of the most unique. I don't have a shade that's close to any of these, so I'm gonna show you. Flirtatious right here. Flirtatious is actually quite mauve and This makes Flirtatious look so neutral and boring and almost gray which is so odd and then we also have divine rose which has a lot of purple in in it it doesn't look like anything nymphette yeah none of the blushes are even worth swatching compared to these because there's nothing close especially with this peachy pink shade not even close so <laughs> let's just swatch them and they feel by the way consistent to the pat mcgrath formula that we're used to if you're familiar so that's the purpley shade and here's the pink shade and they look surprisingly wearable. They looked a little bold and bright next to the other blushes, but they look good. Okay, so I gotta see what this lilac shade is about and how it looks on me. I've been curious. Huh, it actually looks a little bit more pink than I thought it would. Well, you can see it's slightly purple. Let me get a clean brush. I don't think the brush was a problem, but just to ensure, yeah. Okay, so this does look purpley, but there's a little bit of pink just against my skin tone, I think. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't have a blush quite like that. Okay, now let's pop it on the center of the cheek. So this peachy pink shade, totally different from the purpley shade. Looks a lot more neutral, so I definitely feel like you get two blushes in one compact with this one. Both of these shades have more of a satin finish to them. Let's see how they look mixed together. So if you want, this is what they look like mixed together. But I think with these two, I'll probably end up using both of them separately. That's really, really neat. I like the purple shade there. So here's the next shade. This one also is great. Two very different shades. This is Cosmic Coral. So you have the coral shade right here. A little bit warmer. First of the warm shades so far. And then we have a very bright pink. Lots of bright pinks in this collection. Here's the warm coral color. Definitely gonna have to compare this one to Cherish. Let me mix both of them together. Kind of warmed that up, but I don't think I love that shape. So we're gonna compare the hot pink to Cherish because these two definitely look close. Cherish, yeah, these two are pretty close. Cherish has a little bit more blue in it. And then let's compare Desert Orchid, which I can definitely see there is more pink in Cosmic Coral. Desert Orchid also has a shimmer to it, whereas this one is more satin. All right, let's try them. Let's throw them on the cheeks. I'm really excited. I need to play with the warm shade. It's kind of hard not to get the pink in here, though, so just be aware of that. You know, you'll probably end up 
having the colors mixed whether or not you meet it because I can see right here I accidentally got some pink on the brush. So that might be a little bit difficult and something to keep in mind, but it looks really pretty, very smooth on the cheek. But that pink goes a far way. <laughs> Let me just say that. Like, I'm just using a little bit, and it already took over this look just for my brush accidentally dipping in there. This is definitely more of a matte finish. Very bright. Gonna be very good across many different skin tones here. Yeah, the only thing is I probably wish I used a smaller brush because it's nearly impossible not to get that pink shade involved, but you can see the warmth up here. This one is also quite pretty. I don't think it looks like any of the other ones. No, not really. So this is very unique in this range as well. Venusian Sunrise right here. Cosmic Coral right here. We have one more blush to work with. That brings us to the very last blush duo. This is the shade Paradise Glow. I was resistant on getting this because, I don't know, especially with the red shade, I just didn't think it would be very flattering on my skin tone, but now I'm looking at it and I feel like we can make it work. So we have, this definitely looks like a shimmer, and then we have kind of a brick warm red. So here's the lighter shade, which will be better for my skin tone, and then here's the deeper shade. And then we we'll mix them all together and you get this, which actually is kind of pretty. Again, really no matches here that I have other than Desert Orchid, which looks similar to the color of the rays. So let's see. So here's Desert Orchid, a little bit more neutral, close, but Desert Orchid also has a shimmer that this doesn't have. So I don't have any shades personally that are close to this. So let's apply. I actually want to start off with a deeper shade using light hands. And I'm gonna focus this kind of in the outer part of my cheek for the purpose of this being my skin tone. If your skin tone is on the deeper side, you'll like this. But for me, I'm almost kind of playing it as a bronzer or a contour and that looks really good like that, right? For a certain look, like in the winter. That could be very, very pretty. Ooh, okay. I didn't set the outer parts of my face and it's definitely clinging onto the blush, I will say that. So I do have to kind of work this out a little harder than normal. I don't know, when it comes to the Pat McGrath formula in general, when I first reviewed them months and months ago, I wasn't that impressed. I just thought they were like a good solid formula. But I found I continued to reach for the Pat McGrath blushes because of how long wearing they were and how quickly I could get the color on the cheek because they did contain some pigment. As long as you use the right brushes and tools, they're one of the best. So that is with just the deeper shade and I think that that is so pretty. Let's focus on getting the lighter shade towards the apples. And again, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble not mixing in both shades. The lighter shade has a little bit more shimmer to it. And this gives a really pretty kind of warm burnt look, which I like. Ooh, I like this one. I don't normally go for warm blushes, but I think that this is very pretty. I'm gonna subtly kind of blend both together. And just kind of put it right in the middle, keeping it away from the apple, but building up the color a little bit. Ooh, I like this one. That's so pretty. What do you guys think? This one might actually be my favorite simply because I don't have a lot of blushes that look like this and I didn't think it would work for me. All right, now let's go into the highlights. So four shades came out, one was a repeat and I picked up two new ones that I didn't have. I already have Golden Nectar, so I'll show you what that looks like. And then I also have Venus Nectar right here. So same deal with the blushes in how the packaging looks. Same amount of product as the regular Divine Glows. These are kind of expensive though. They are $48, which is a lot for a highlight, but I will say this is by far one of the best formulas in terms of highlights that Pat McGrath has come out with. They are beautiful and smooth. Let me show you. Uh-oh, so this one came a little messy. I don't know why, but this is Lunar Allure which looks like this. So this is definitely gonna be great for more fair people, which Pat McGrath didn't have highlights for you. Wow, that's really, really bright. Okay, and then the other one I have is Golden Moonlight, which is visibly deeper. And that has more gold to it, which is gonna be better for me. This is almost a little bit cooler, but this is really great for my fair skin tone people. Let me show you how they compare. We'll do Golden Nectar, which I can see has a little bit more peach in it. Let's see the swatch. 
Golden nectar, yeah, definitely more peachy, champagne-y. There's a stronger gold in Golden Moonlight. And then for my Bridgerton trio, I have Venus Nectar, which is definitely darker. And that's right here. Has a little bit more warmth to it as well. But these are the two new shades that I picked up. Let's try them on. Okay, I actually think this might be a little bit too glazed for me compared to what I'm used to. So I'm going to use a little bit. This is Lunar Allure. Yeah. Fair girls, you're going to love this. For me, this is a bit brighter than what I typically prefer. A bit too blinding unless I'm like going to an extravagant evening event that I want to be super bright for, which is not often. That's what that looks like. I love this highlight though. You can see how smooth it applied, how smooth it blended out. And I'm just excited because I know I had a lot of you guys tell me that none of the Pat McGrath highlights were light enough for you. Here you go. You have it here. So that's very pretty. And then this is the one that I knew was going to be my favorite, Golden Moonlight. I'm using a Sigma F03 brush. And this is still quite quite bright on me. I think I still preferred the shade Golden Nectar. That's my go-to. But this is a little bit more flattering on my skin tone, but still quite, quite extra. But I do love even how bright it is. You can see that it does a really nice job working with texture. You know, a highlight by nature, it's going to highlight things that you might not want to be highlighted, but I feel like this doesn't do it in an obnoxious way. And it blends in seamlessly with the skin. Like you can't exactly see where the highlight started because of how well it blends out. It looks like it's coming from the skin in a very unnatural way because of how bright it is. But that's beautiful. I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. None of the formulas in here are new from Pat McGrath, so I knew I was gonna like them, but I just think this highlighter is so stunning. On my eyelids, for those wondering, I'm wearing the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Bestest. That's it, nothing else. I have a brown shadow as my eyeliner, but isn't this so pretty? Okay, let me get myself together and I'll give you my final thoughts. One last thing that I wanted to do in case you were between shades. So I mixed both of the shades in each pan just so you can kind of see how they would compare and the general vibe. So starting from the top, we have Aphrodite Amour, Divine Rose 2, Venusian Sunrise, Cosmic Coral, and Paradise Glow. Just in case you wanted that visual for comparing. All in all, in my humble opinion, I am very happy with this launch. I don't think it is a need. You know, if you have all of the individual blushes, you don't need to run out and buy these, but I will say if you were looking to try the Pat McGrath blush formula and was waiting for the right time, I do recommend these duos over the individuals because I do think you get a bigger bang for your buck in terms of like you get two shades. Now what I would recommend going for are the blushes that have two completely different tones in one pan because I feel like for example while Divine Rose 2 is beautiful and wearable, it's two shades of pink. They don't differentiate on the cheek as much. Also Aphrodite Amour, like these two have two similar colors in one pan. So in that way you get a little less bang for your buck. They're all beautiful, don't get me wrong. And then also, if you do have a lot of the Pat McGrath blushes, there's a lot of pinks in the Pat McGrath blush collection. When it comes especially, again, this Aphrodite Amour and Divine Rose 2, there are somewhat similar shades in the Pat McGrath line. They're less unique. So the ones that I would recommend if you're looking for unique and a little bit of a better value given that you are paying a little bit more, I recommend Venusian Sunrise because I think both shades in here are very unique to the Pat McGrath line. They don't have anything like it. Cosmic Coral, this shade's a little closer to the shade Cherish but this shade is unique and this shade kind of overtakes I find this shade so I don't love this one but it is great because you get two extremely different shades it's not my personal favorite combo and I was hoping that it would be I was hoping that the ray color could be used as a bronzer it definitely cannot be so I don't love the colors in this as much because I just feel like this takes over everything and I can't just get this shade on my cheek so this is not my personal favorite but it's one that I would almost recommend because the shades are so different from one another uh, but I think today, I don't know if my favorite is Venusian Sunrise or Paradise Glow. For me, I like Paradise Glow because I just feel like I don't have any other blushes like this. I really like the darker shade in this duo and using it almost as a contour. So for me, this is the blush of the day that I'm enjoying, but 
My top two are Venusian Sunrise and Paradise Glow for sure. And then both of the highlights are beautiful as well. I mean, this, this was a pre-existing formula. She just expanded the color range to go along with a larger range of skin tones, which is really great. I'm still a fan for my skin tone of Golden Nectar. I have more of a light medium skin tone. This is my favorite, but Golden Moonlight's a little bit brighter for me, but I still think it's very pretty. And then the lightest shade, Luna Allure, not for me, but I know Pat McGrath was missing a color like this for very fair skin tones. So there you go. So overall, a very, very successful launch, if you ask me. Not something you need, but I'm happy that she, I have nothing bad to say about these. I love the formula. I think the colors are really pretty. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Thank you guys so much for liking it and being subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.